The love you talk about is very, very important. At least 15, 20 times a day, I have to tell her I love her. Do you? Why do you love me? I, I mean, and she feels good about it. And and I I play games with her. I find she's got a fabulous sense of humor. And and sometimes she'll wake up in the morning and she'll say, I don't know where I am. And I'll say to her, What's your name? Well, I'm not going to tell you. And I say to her, Well, I'm not allowed to talk to people whose names I don't know. And she'll say, Well, I say, What did your mother call you when she wanted you? And she'd say, Lila. I say, I. Say, and this is what going, and and it, it's so nice when she talks like that, you know. And lately, she's been painting, and uh, and she looks forward to it now. And she she you got to see, and uh, so uh, we I think we're we're doing fine. It, it's just that uh, as far as I'm concerned, I I would just love to see her freeze and and at this stage and not go any worse than that. I'd be I'd be the happiest guy in the world. I find my wife is going back to when she was a child, that there are recalls that uh, come stronger to her. And again, she was brought up in Germany in the 30s and unfortunately uh, a victim of bombing. Say. So every time now she hears a motor in the sky, she is so quick to identify I mean, her hearing is impeccable. Where the plane is, and does it mean trouble for us? So she's including me in her fear, but this is, you know, reality to me. So I tell her very quickly, it's off to Philadelphia. Oh, it carries mail to New York. So there's a quick release of that. So, again, to be aware that things that we never knew about our wives are being relived and to be sensitive to that and just quickly uh, make light of it, make nice of it, make, uh, again, make it into a story.